what we do here is go back, 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 back. back, back. G'day everyone, this is the Telstar build update. Thought I'd give you guys an update on what's happened over the last about a year or so, eight months. And yeah, she's uh, all all back together and everything. I'll put some pictures up of what's happening throughout this video. But as you can see, it's looking a fair bit different than it originally did. Some things are still the same, but yeah, I'll go over the car and let you guys know what I've done. Uh, so first thing I've done, is I've actually took the whole engine out, gearbox, etc. Everything came out. Everything in this engine bay came out and clean, except for the AC, because I don't want to have to tamper with that. When I took the engine out, I had the head port and polished by myself. Port and polished it, reseated the valves, um, ported out the extractors, made a bit of new exhaust pipe up, um, in port and polished the intake. Uh, new pistons, new rings, new bearings, block came out, got um, acid bath, uh, intake, throttle body, everything got cleaned up. The whole engine bay got cleaned from all the oily mess that was originally in here. I even took the brake, mar uh, brake booster out and the brake master cylinder out, gave that all a massive clean and spray painted that as well. Flushed every fluid out, every fluid in this has been changed and She's still currently being run in with about 40 k's into the run in stage, but I've already tested her just a little bit, nothing too extreme, and she is an absolute rocket. Now some of you know what I've got planned for this, so I'll keep that a secret and maybe others can tell you, but at the moment I did buy a new clutch for it as the odd one was completely buggered, and I'll put a picture up of what it looked like previously put new drive shafts in it and I'm not sure you'll be able to see but it's just down in there you'll be able to see how shiny they are. The other ones were completely buggered. The other thing I've added to this setup is a water temperature gauge and an O2 gauge. It is a narrow band, still a stock narrow band O2 sensor so it's pretty inaccurate but it still helps every now and again to know what's going on. And I've also added a voltage gauge into the glove box because I don't need to always look at that but it's always handy to have. Now the sound system is exactly the same as it used to be. No real change. I did take it out when the car was sitting because I didn't want everything to start going all crappy. But yeah, everything in here is still the same. I've got to get some new speakers as these top 6x9s have kind of died. Other things I plan to do with this uh, for the time being before I get into the um, secret stuff that some of you know about. Oh, I'm going to be cleaning out the engine bay a bit more, paint things that have kind of got a bit crappy, rusty. And I'll be putting lowered springs on it, not too low, just because I'm still, it's going to be a sleeper build, I don't want it looking slammed. And I'll be adding, uh, putting some 16s on it with some Potenza RE003s for that awesome grip. And I'll be replacing bushings with polyurethane ones and all those other good bits. Another thing I've added to this, uh, you can't really see and I can't really show you unless I um, start pulling carpet and trim up, is I've added a... Uh, a rewire kit for the fuel pump and a manual switch and this little wire down here does the rewire and I've even put my own relay into it and that runs through the side of the car to back to the fuel pump so the ECU and everything doesn't or anything doesn't have any say in what the fuel pump does anymore No our gifts on site, they have been divided with blindfolds and are the blindfolds all in place that way Sign in please <laughs>
another thing that's happened is I've bought myself a 626 wagon. It's a 92 I believe and it's got the same engine and running gear as the Telstar but with a slightly different gearbox ratio. But the same chassis, it's just a wagon and yes, yeah, still front wheel drive but it doesn't really feel like a front wheel drive to be honest. Anyway, this is another project but this thing has been sitting for four years so I've got to do a lot of uh, engine work to it. It's got a blown head gasket and uh, leaks water everywhere and it also needs a new fuel pump because this just will not start. Beware.